Hi, I'm Joe Walling with Dump Truck Dispatcher. In this video, I'm going to spend a few minutes showing you how easy it is to create invoices from your tickets that haven't already been invoiced. This video assumes that someone has already entered the tickets that you want to invoice. You will start on a ticket list, as we have shown here, and use the search criteria to specify the tickets you want to invoice. In this case, I'm going to display all unbilled tickets this week. In order to select all the items down below, I'm going to click the checkbox in the top left. This is assuming that you want to bill all these items, or you can select them one by one. And I recommend that you quickly review the items to be sure they're the ones that you want. And you may notice a couple cases you can't select a checkbox because if you look at these, you see that there's no quantities yet that have been entered on those tickets. So if you did want to include them on your invoices, you'd have to go back and edit those tickets before selecting this to do your batch invoicing. So now that I've selected all these items that I want on an invoice, I'm going to, up at the top right, you see this invoice button. I'm going to click on this button, and in a few seconds, three invoices will be created. There's one for each customer that had tickets for that date range we had selected. So that's why you see three invoices here. Notice that the status of all three of these is draft. And up here you'll see there's a batch ID. So, so we create these in batches, and you could get back to the specific batch using that batch ID. Now let's go into each one of these invoices that have been created. And we'll take a look at this first one. And you see that uh, in this case, because the billing address wasn't filled in for the customer on the customer record, we need to type that billing address in here. Otherwise, it would have filled in automatically. And the same thing goes for their contact customer email. And you can set the terms. If you have a specific due date, you can set that. If you need to add something that's outside of a ticket, you can click on Add New and add it. And then I'll come down to the bottom, and I'm going to click Save and Print. And you'll see it shows me a printed version of that invoice. And I could have also set it to email instead of printing it. So now I could go ahead and print it. You notice it pulls in the information related to your company up here at the top and your remit to information. So these things all need to be set up in advance in your settings for them to show up. So that's it for this short video. If you have any questions, let me know. That's it for now.